In the world of science, words often take on meanings different from our everyday language. Two such words are fact and theory. Understanding this difference is crucial when we delve into the fascinating world of evolution. A scientific fact is an observation that has been repeatedly confirmed. It's something we can see happening in the natural world. Think of a dropped ball falling to the ground due to gravity. This observation, repeated countless times, becomes a fact. A scientific theory, however, is a well-substantiated explanation of some aspect of the natural world. It's not a guess or a hunch, but rather a comprehensive explanation backed by evidence from multiple sources. The theory of gravity, for instance, explains why that ball falls to the ground, detailing the forces at play. Theories are not lesser than facts. In fact, they are the pinnacle of scientific understanding. They provide the framework for understanding why and how facts occur. Evolution, often perceived as a single concept, is actually a beautiful duality. It is both a fact and a theory. This duality can be confusing, so let's break it down. The fact of evolution is simply that life on Earth has changed over time. This change is evident in the fossil record, DNA analysis and numerous other lines of evidence. Just like gravity is a fact, the change in species over time is undeniable. The theory of evolution, on the other hand, seeks to explain how this change occurs. It provides the mechanisms, like natural selection, that drive the process of evolution. This theory, supported by mountains of evidence, helps us understand the incredible diversity of life on Earth. Evolution isn't just a concept confined to textbooks. It's happening all around us. We can see evidence of it in our daily lives if we know where to look. One striking example is the evolution of antibiotic resistance in bacteria. Bacteria, through random mutations, can develop resistance to antibiotics. Those resistant bacteria survive and reproduce, passing on their resistance genes. This leads to the evolution of antibiotic-resistant strains, posing a significant threat to global health. Another example is the evolution of pesticide resistance in insects. Farmers use pesticides to protect crops, but some insects possess mutations that make them resistant. These resistant insects survive, reproduce, and eventually the pesticide becomes ineffective against the evolved population. These examples highlight the fact that evolution is an ongoing process driven by the interaction between organisms and their environment. Section 4 are piecing together the puzzle evidence from diverse fields. The beauty of the theory of evolution lies in its ability to be tested and supported by various scientific disciplines. It's not just biologists who see evidence of evolution. Fields as diverse as paleontology, genetics and even geology provide compelling evidence. The fossil record, like a time capsule, reveals the history of life on Earth. By studying fossils, we can trace the lineage of modern organisms back through time, witnessing the gradual changes that have occurred. Comparative anatomy provides further evidence. By comparing the structures of different organisms, we find striking similarities. For example, the bone structure of a human hand, a bat's wing and a whale's flipper, though used for different functions, point towards a common ancestor. Biogeography, the study of the distribution of species, shows us how isolation on islands or continents can lead to the evolution of unique species. The Galapagos finches, with their diverse beak shapes adapted to different food sources, are a classic example of this phenomenon. Molecular biology provides perhaps the most compelling evidence for evolution. By comparing the DNA sequences of different organisms, scientists can determine how closely related they are. This molecular evidence has revolutionized our understanding of evolutionary relationships. Section 5, The Driving Forces, Mechanisms of Evolution. While natural selection is perhaps the most well-known mechanism of evolution, it's not the only one. Several processes work together to shape the diversity of life. Natural selection, often paraphrased as survival of the fittest, is the process by which organisms with traits better suited to their environment are more likely to survive and reproduce. Over time, these advantageous traits become more common in the population. Mutation, a permanent change in an organism's DNA sequence, provides the raw material for evolution. Mutations can be beneficial, harmful or neutral. 
Those that provide an advantage are more likely to be passed on, contributing to evolutionary change. Gene flow, the movement of genes between populations, can introduce new genetic variations. When individuals migrate and interbreed with a new population, they introduce their genes into the gene pool, altering the genetic makeup of the population. Genetic drift, on the other hand, is the random fluctuation of gene frequencies in a population, especially prominent in small populations. It can lead to the loss of genetic diversity and the fixation of certain alleles, regardless of their adaptive value. Sexual selection, a special case of natural selection, acts on an organism's ability to obtain or successfully copulate with a mate. It can lead to the evolution of elaborate traits, such as the peacock's tail, that may not necessarily increase survival, but enhance reproductive success. Section 6. Debunking Myths. Understanding Scientific Theories. Scientific theories are often misunderstood. One common misconception is that a theory is just a guess. However, as we've seen, a scientific theory is a well-substantiated explanation backed by a vast body of evidence. Another misconception is that evolution is just a theory and therefore not a fact. This conflates the two meanings of the word theory. The fact of evolution is undeniable and the theory of evolution explains this fact with a robust and constantly refined framework. It's also important to remember that scientific theories are not static. They are constantly being tested, challenged and refined as new evidence emerges. This is a strength of science, allowing for continual improvement and refinement of our understanding of the natural world. Section 7. The Grand Conclusion Facts, Theories and the Beauty of Understanding The fact of evolution is undeniable, observed and confirmed through countless lines of evidence. The theory of evolution, constantly tested and refined, provides the framework for understanding the mechanisms driving this change. Think of it like a crime scene investigation. The fact of the crime is undeniable. There's a body, a weapon, a disturbed scene. The detective's job is to develop a theory supported by evidence to explain how and why the crime occurred. Similarly, scientists use the theory of evolution to explain the crime of how life has diversified on Earth with the evidence scattered across the planet and through time. Understanding the distinction between fact and theory and appreciating the robust evidence supporting the theory of evolution allows us to appreciate the true grandeur of life's journey on Earth.